when you increase uh, the housing stock uh, in the country at affordable rates, at affordable rates, then uh, it means that uh, informal settlements uh, uh, and the conditions they are in uh, uh, will change, and that landscape will change. Uh, so according to the, the government plan, which is now being executed by the State Department for Housing and Urban Development, uh, our plan really uh, focuses on informal settlement in terms of social housing. Uh, we are providing people who are living in informal settlements with a decent housing uh, that is subsidized by government. Uh, it's already happening uh, in some urban centers in Nairobi. And also by having affordable housing program for the other cadence, um, those who are able to afford uh, at much more reduced uh, rates, uh, uh, that uh, 5,000 shillings for one bedroom rent on, 10,000 shillings for two bedroom rent on, 15,000 shillings for, for three bedroom rent on. It also means that uh, we will be increasing the stock of houses uh, in, our, uh, in our country, less people. Uh, current, less people will be staying in the, in the slum areas. Currently, we have, currently we have uh, uh, a big problem, you know. And as I've said during the meeting, that uh, we have actually the problem for our university students, a majority of whom are living in, in the slum areas. Uh, we have a majority of people who leave universities, the graduates, they cannot afford, so they live in slum areas. So when affordable housing, um, eventually, this problem will be resolved, that uh, when they become citizens and they're provided with employment. Also affordable housing by its very nature, uh, it is based at local levels. At the local level, the young people then get jobs. Uh, jobs within the construction industry and jobs that are attributable, attributable to the fact that there's already construction going on in that area, there's housing going on in that area, there are people who are in that area. So this strategy that uh, we are launching today is a major, major pillar was uh, the delivery of affordable housing uh, in Kenya. Uh, Kenya is urbanizing very fast and um, uh, this is as a result of the devolved governments uh, where uh, headquarters of counties are becoming urban areas and one of the challenges that comes with that is increasing population and that increasing population means that we must provide services for this uh, for our citizens who move to these urban areas. The challenge is the uh, issue of housing. So when they don't get enough uh, affordable house, then they collapse into the slums because they come to the urban areas for, for to get um, uh, employment and to start uh, businesses. And, and so the, the strategy we are developing today uh, will go a long way to try and reduce this slum proliferations within the urban areas and the government's effort to uh, uh, give its citizens affordable housing and social housing will also prevent uh, the issue of uh, slum proliferation. KISIP uh, is, 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 a, is a national uh, program that is co-funded by the uh, World Bank and the AFD Bank, France Bank, known as AFD. And its main objective is to um, upgrade informal settlements and slums in urban areas. And uh, one, of the, one of the strategies is to develop documents like this, the this, this strategy, in order to assist counties and other urban areas uh, to uh, upgrade informal settlements. So that is how KISIP is coming in. It is funding the preparation of this strategy as one of its mandates. Yeah, we have uh, 33 counties that uh, showed um, interest to work with KISIP and qualified. Uh, but the strategy itself, because this is a national issue, uh, informal settlement, we are opening it up for all the counties. All the 47 counties are going to, to, to gain from this strategy. Uh, once we validate it today and uh, all stakeholders are uh, okay with it, then it should come into, into force almost uh, immediately.